anyone just have this practice and then you can communicate you will see drastic change words will automatically come to your mind because you have already spoken those words few minutes ago in your practice mm. so that will going to remain mm. in your mind sometimes you- i feel awkward to talk to myself loudly but mm. that, you know i feel that there is nobody and i am talking alone am i mad <laughs> uh, practicing listen in front of mirror i feel really very really awkward to talk in front of mirror mm. you know watching uh, one facial expression i am feeling and- little awkward but not with myself <laughs> i feel awkward with myself as well so i need a partner <laughs> yourself you can give review you can judge yourself like how i was in this particular 5 minute speaking session so this is how you can improve and mm-hmm. that is important i have seen improvements while i used to start recording myself in the camera i am able to rectify my errors so this is what you can do you have to remove your awkwardness and you have to put this one step and you can see the drastic change good afternoon how are you yes ma'am i am doing really great and what about you i am doing really great but you you don't look great your voice is not like i feel that you have some cold and cough no 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 it's not like that actually i went to tuition and just now i got back home so maybe that's why i was teaching a kid so i had to scream a lot there because you know she was okay. she is a kid okay, okay. yes okay, so, so my youtube channel is working uh, my youtube channel is not working but, but your video got uh, 900 plus views <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing yeah that that video got yeah but i am not able to increase my subscribers i have only 173 subscribers so like it's okay. not going good and i am i am not uploading videos regularly i am not consistent mm-hmm. so that's why maybe that is the only reason if you will be consistent 100% you will get the result thing is you can say that you can say that you know there are a lot of competitions in youtube because all the cool learners are uploading conversational videos so how many people will watch <laughs> so exactly. that's that, that's absolutely true there's a lot of competition nowadays <laughs> out of reasons yeah so i mm-hmm. think i should choose another topic like another uh, content for making videos for uploading videos okay okay that's great even you know what i have never thought of uploading videos related to english my personal intention i want to become i wanted to become a youtuber but not in this particular field i wanted to become a youtuber yeah. in blogging i i love doing blogging and all uploading day to day life with the audience sharing everything so but you know what i have tried a lot but you know uh, maybe it is my destiny that i got uh, success in this and that's why i'm continuing yeah. this but alongside i have created another channel where i'm fulfilling my own wish personally i would like to create blogs and daily routine and all so this is what i'm doing apart from that that's my passion <laughs> yeah yeah even i have so, seen i have read many comments that you know people comment that you know try to make blog videos english blog videos so we will increase your viewers otherwise you know same videos all the people are making so like this this is how we can increase our viewers we can't be successful in in the field of youtube so we have to make another content like some we have to do something different to become successful in youtube uh i completely agree with you but there is one more thing uh, i would like to share people also people wanted to listen a fluent speaker does not matter yeah. what the speaker is saying maybe he is saying he or she is saying repetitive things again and again but people wanted to listen them just because they want to learn the art of speaking like them i would like to give an example like there are many good youtubers on uh, youtube they are uploading same kind of content again and again but the way of speaking but the way of pronouncing few words and presenting themselves it's amazing and people want to learn that and that is why they are listening them again and again even i personally watch a lot of youtubers i'm listening again the same content because when i'm listening that i feel like that i'm learning something so obviously if we yeah. want to do that much hard work if we can make ourselves on that level then definitely you will get success in this youtube also yeah. in this field also but obviously so, every person is having conversational video so it's not that popular give me one second let me i have turned off my fan and i'm sweating a lot <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, actually, I was taking another session before this call. So that time my phone was uh, fan was off. So I was like sweating all over. So I thought, okay, let's turn it on for a few minutes. Now I make it like turn on. And whenever I have my uh, sessions, that time I turn off my fan and I sweat a lot. And people say me that you are working hard. I say that no, I am not working hard. Maybe daily half an hour I am practicing. Yeah, half an hour is not a big deal. We can sit. You see, I am spending many hours in the kitchen without having fan. So at least yeah. I can do it here when it is related with my career, with my success. It is very important for me. So we have to do it. Even I used to do it from a very long time. Whenever I'm creating a video, I have this habit to turn off the fan. That's fine. Yeah. You can do it. So, okay. So I was listening. I was watching a video. Then uh, your, uh, it was your video. And maybe that conversation was with uh, uh, Asuto sir, I think. So you were saying okay. that you just... Uh, Whenever you cook, you practice English. Uh, like in your mind, you think in English language, and and you know, uh, you you open your laptop, then you log in because uh, like you are an advocate, so that's why you know, like you are multitasking, you are um, managing so many things together. <laughs> yeah, because I love to do. You know, when you love your work, it it doesn't feel burden for you. It feels like th that you are enjoying. So, you know, make your profession something which like you enjoy to do. I love YouTube, so I'm enjoying it. Whenever I feel tired, I start having conversation to make myself fresh. So obviously I'm going to put 100% here because this is something my hobby. People are yeah. not thinking that this is a work for me. I feel that this is a kind of enjoyment for me. And that's how I'm able to manage. Whenever I get free with my household chores, my kids, like my younger one is sleeping right now. Yeah. And the older one is in the camp. So now I'm, you know, free for whole day. I can take sessions as long as he's sleeping. <laughs> so it's like me time for me. Yeah. So what else you are doing to improve your English? So you drop the idea of posting conversational video on your channel. Are you going to start something new? No, not now. Not now. Maybe after finishing my exams. And, I, and it takes oh. long time to make your video, you know, to, to create content and making script and all everything will take it, it it will consume our time so i i i'm thinking that after one month i have exam so after that i will start yeah but, I don't what exam. Uh, but one thing i would like to suggest you like exactly. being a youtuber I, I am on youtube from last two to three years now so i have experienced one thing that creating video on english is taking mm -hmm. less time as compared to other content <laughs> Uh, as you know that I have another channel. Yeah. So it takes videos, a lot of don't take... Yeah, but these videos, these conversational videos, these videos don't take long time. But if you want to create a particular content like that, how to improve like that, that time we need to think that what kind of things we are going to say in YouTube. And, and you know, most of the time what I do, I, I, at first I record, then I don't like them, then I did retake the video again so it takes a long time <laughs> and i'm new and so that's why i, I feel a little bit nervous uh, whenever i make videos so that's why i take time but uh, whenever i will be habituated that time it will not take long time mm, but you know what even if you're creating individual solo content related to english that will take less time as compared to other field of youtube for example if you started mm. a cooking channel you have to spend a lot of time in cooking recording and editing then only you can post a video if you will start a vlog yeah. channel you have to vlog whole day and then you have to edit and all it will take uh, again a lot of time so i found this yeah. creating conversation having conversation creating even your own content it is much much easier as compared to the other fields of uh, youtube so that is why I'm putting 100% here because I'm getting two benefits. One, like YouTube channel is working. Second, I'm improving a lot. Like day by day, I'm learning new things and, you know, talking to somebody. So that is the reason I'm putting 100%. So you can also try it for some time. If it doesn't work, you, work for you, then you can change. Then you can choose anything you like to do. Yeah, even I was thinking that I will create grammatical videos. Grammar, like uh, when mm -hmm. we can use Amazon, have has these kind of grammar lessons I will teach, I was thinking. But I found that a lot of grammar lessons videos are there. So I, I thought that it will not work. But I don't know what will happen. Uh, we have to try no. at least. Yeah, we can you, say you, that. You, uh, 
you have to change your thinking process even though there are a yeah. lot of grammatical videos you can teach grammar in your own style people don't watch the grammar actually they watch the way the person is teaching for example if somebody is teaching yeah. in hindi i may be able to understand easily if somebody is teaching in english i may not be able to understand somebody is teaching in difficult manner somebody is teaching in easy manner somebody is putting so much example while giving uh, teaching so people learn various ways they want to understand one yeah. concept in different ways like how he is explaining how she is explaining it they watch 10 videos and they then they will understand okay this one thing is common in all of them so i think i need to focus on this so don't think that there is a lot of competition and other people are teaching grammar you just put your 100% maybe people love your style maybe people love the style you are teaching so that is important if you will keep thinking the, about the competition like many people are doing it you won't be able to do anything in that see uh, because many people are yeah. doing blogging as well so why people are going to watch you it mm -hmm. only depends yeah. like yeah mm -hmm. they are learning something from blogging channel like suppose somebody is making english blogs so that time you know we are learning day to day conversation from blogging channels so that's uh, that's really very helpful and you know in your case you you have become uh, you have become a you can say great fluent speaker so that is why people are watching your videos because you know people want to listen to a uh, fluent speaker like you know suppose uh, if i have conversation with other people i am not that much fluent yet i can't say that i am really fluent so people will not watch my videos people will go for better option obviously don't focus on views just focus on yourself focus on your improvements gradually when you will improve you will become fluent people will automatically start watching your videos if you will keep focusing on the people like they are not watching me i'm not getting views i used to do it initially when i was the beginner in this youtube field but then i realized when i am putting my 100% i am making my content good then people are coming to watch you the moment i have yeah. i have seen that i have reduced the number of my grammatical errors so now people are watching me earlier when i was making a lot of grammatical errors people are not that consistent sometimes i got 500 views sometimes i got 1000 but now i have maintained a level that any video if i am posting i will get above 1000 at least so it depends upon mm -hmm. you you just do your hard work upgrade the skill people will come to you and you're yeah. doing a good job you are good you are your speaking skills are good i don't feel that you're not speaking fluently you are fluent no yeah i also feel that i am fluent but not each and every time sometimes i get stuck sometimes i need to think that sometimes i don't get, get words that what uh, which word we should use at that particular uh, sentence so that that's that time it takes long time i have like, an idea for that yeah please <laughs> let me know <laughs> it happened with me sometimes when i'm initiating a conversation even at the beginning when i'm introducing themselves like each other i got stuck and sometimes i got blank i just skip that part i just edit that part and upload the video so people are not getting bored that time okay uh, i would like to give you practical okay. example just before the session i had a session with ruby ruby chorosia so at the beginning i got completely blank blank i was asking about let's introduce each other and i just forget for a moment like what to speak So I mm -hmm. asked her, like Ruby, please remove this first part, otherwise people will get bored, and then you can post it. So initially, it will happen. It happens with everyone. Even I am a fluent speaker. I also stuck sometimes without any reason. There's no such reason. I'm not feeling nervous or something mm. that I stuck, but it happens. It's automatic. It's, it happens with everyone. They usually edit that part, so you can also do that. Yeah, even you know, many people say me that you are a good speaker. You are speaking good. I want to practice with you. But I feel that you know why they are saying like that. You know, they don't know that I get stuck. How like how many times I get stuck? You know, it's uncountable. If I have conversation for one hour, maybe uh, for half an hour, like I have to think that oh, which word I should I should use at that particular moment or at that uh, like which word will be suitable for that. And sometimes even though many words, I know many words, but I don't find a uh, word. when i have conversation with other yeah mm -hmm. and you know this this is normal conversation this conversation like we are having every day so that's why i'm not getting stuck but if i like uh, like if i talk about any topic or if you give me a new situation to talk in talk in that situation then definitely i will get get stuck so but this is with everyone like if you talking to me some something which is very new to me 
and I do not have any knowledge about that particular thing. How will I be able to speak on that? Yeah, it is very natural. I'm going to stop. Even in our mother tongue also, if I don't have any knowledge on something, even in my uh, yes. mother tongue also, we will not be able to talk. Yeah, yes. I have observed. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's very natural. It happens with everyone again. So you have to, you know, update, upgrade your knowledge. If you're talking to, talking on some particular topic, then just have some uh, knowledge, gather some knowledge of that particular topic, then try to speak. Okay, uh, one more thing you can do, you can practice yourself just uh, to speak uh, random topics with yourself without having session with anyone or prior to having session with anyone just have this practice and then you can communicate you will see drastic change words will automatically come to your mind because you have already spoken those words few minutes ago in your practice mm. so that will going to remain mm. in your mind and you can use them it is all about practice the more you will practice you will see the changes in your fluency as well you are saying that you are stuck now but if you will keep practicing like this one day you feel that you are flawless Sometimes I feel awkward to talk to myself loudly, but I talk in my mind. Yeah, I feel that, you know, I feel that there is nobody and I'm talking alone. Am I mad? <laughs> like, am, am I out of my mind? <laughs> like that. I do it. And you know what? Before starting your call, like when you say, like, give me two minutes and all, you know, I was I talking to myself. Talking. People, Sorry? I don't. Mm -hmm. I said that I don't know how people uh, practice English in front of mirror. I feel really, very really awkward to talk in front of mirror, you know, watching uh, one mirror, facial expression. I also feel a little awkward, but not with myself. <laughs> I feel awkward with myself as well. So I need a partner to, to practice. Okay, English. so you need a partner. That's fine. It happens yeah. initially at the beginning. I still remember when I start recording my first video, I was so nervous. I recorded that video many times, multiple times, and I was not satisfied at all with the video. Like I was looking uh, ugly. Also, I was looking like fat. I was very like, I'm not, mm -hmm. I was not able to speak one single line in a flow. So initially it was not that good. But, you know, gradually when I worked hard on those particular things, I am able to improve. And this is with everyone, every human, when we, when they start doing anything new, yeah, it happens. Yeah, obviously. Even when I started practicing spoken English, I used to get stuck each and every time. I was not able to utter any single sentence. I used to take a long time. I used to think, I used to translate in my mind, then I used to deliver that those sentences. It, it, it used to, like, take a long time. But now, mm -hmm. uh, like whatever whatever I am, it's just the result of talking to others because I have never uh, talked to myself. I have never practiced English in front of mirror. So I just uh, mm -hmm. found a partner and I used to talk to that partner. So why do I don't you know why in front of camera? I feel amazing. awkward. Camera and mirror both are the same. No, it's yeah, not it's, same. It's, it's not the same. Try it. See, if you are speaking in front of the mirror, you cannot see it through the recording. But if you are speaking in front of camera, you can see yourself. After recording yourself, you can give review. You can judge yourself like how I was in this particular five minute speaking session. So this is how you can improve. And that is important. I have seen improvements while I use, start recording myself in the camera. I am able to rectify my errors. So this is what you can do. You have to remove your awkwardness and you have to put this one step and you can see the drastic change. Yeah. Do it for a month. I have tried. Yeah, actually, no, I have tried some things to practice English when uh, I was a beginner. At the time, I used to select pictures from Google, like some easy picture description. I used to make uh, like sentences from those pictures. Uh, and also I have described videos. For example, uh, like suppose there is a video, there is no no sentences, is, but only activities are there in those videos. So I used to form sentences from those videos. These things I have practiced and I have talked about topics like village uh, village life versus city life, uh, joint family versus nuclear family, these kind of topics I, I used to discuss in past. And uh, also I have played a role playing game. This game is very interesting. Oh, that's nice. Role playing game, story making game. These yeah, so mm -hmm. I have played these kind of games and whatever I have improved till now. So because of those games and all, I have never practiced in front of mirror. I have never talked to myself. And yeah, one more thing is that it's true that I used to think in my mind uh, initially when I was a beginner. 
I used to think in my mind, whatever I used to uh, listen from my surroundings, whatever Bengali sentences I used to get, I used to translate in my mind that what will be the, what will be the translator. And um, if wow. I was not able to translate anything, I used to use Google Translator at that moment. Hmm. And, storytelling uh, is also an amazing way. Yeah, a storytelling game is really amazing and it's very amazing interesting. Game. People will enjoy that game. Yeah. Yes, Role and playing also, is you, know, also you, you will get good command over the particular tense, like past tense when you're speaking or narrating any story. That is very important because mm -hmm. most of the people I have seen, they stuck where they're speaking about their past. Even this is with me. I'm not good with my past tense. So uh, that's a good practice, mm -hmm. I feel. And in the stories, most of the time we use past tense. Like one. Yes, maximum. Your video got stuck and I'm not able to hear your voice. Hello? Sorry. Uh, hello. Am, hello, am I audible? You're audible, but your uh, video got stuck. Oh my God, I don't know what happened. Actually, I got a call and suddenly I disconnected the call then. Is this your picture in profile? Yeah, it's my picture. You're looking so beautiful. Uh, every girls look beautiful whenever they wear makeup. <laughs> no, not about makeup. You open your hair and that's why it changed your look. Yeah, so am I visible now? No, not at all. <laughs> now? No, not at all. Let's let's leave the conversation, wrap up the session now because uh, I think there is some network issue. Yeah, already 20 minutes and we can wrap up the session now. Yeah. yeah Thanks for sure. seeing my picture. Even though it's different from reality. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's nice to talk to you. We'll surely converse it again in future on certain topic. And yes, it's lovely conversation. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, thank you too. Bye. So bye. Yeah. Yeah. Little plan. Good.